you so much for watching the Press Avenue YouTube channel. My name is John, and I like to talk about WordPress with WordPress tutorials. So in this YouTube channel, we talk about everything from security to adding plugins to developer tools to even just building websites with either page builders, Gutenberg, or different custom ways you can do things. We have a Facebook group, facebook.com slash group slash Press Avenue, where people ask me, hey, I want to see this tutorial, and I go ahead and make it. So we did a poll. It's been running for a while, maybe a year now, and we've had tons of comments on people wanting to talk about securing WordPress. So our most recent one was on just that, and this one is on that as well. This one's on removing junk from WordPress that you don't want. So this is either malware, spam, and it's just a few tips for doing so. So we had someone contact us saying, hey, I have this WordPress support plugin on my website. Is this you? Is this something you know? What, what is this? So in further looking into it, the, I immediately saw this and I was like, this is spam. And <clears throat> the reason is it was unsolicited and it got on here by a means that the client really wasn't expecting. And actually in this scenario, the um, developer or the person that put together the site wasn't expecting either. So if you see here, I got this kind of MySpace WordPress support up here. You know, it's not official because the P is not the full size P, capital P, I should say. And it's just this rainbow mess the whole time. When you click it, it brings you to this widget here. Um, and what's annoying about this is if I click here, I'm getting a live chat support with um, these agents of 247wpsupport.com. When I go to their site, let's see here. It all it all looks legitimate. It's just the way they get into your site, it's malware and spam is how they enter in. Um, and what happens is I click this and I say, hey, this doesn't work on my site. They say, fine, 15, 20 bucks, we'll fix it for you. And according to the reviews online, they do, but it's still a dirty practice of getting business by sneaking into sites and tricking people. So I wanna get rid of this. So what I did is I went over to plugins and it's like, well, I'll just turn it off. I started looking through here and this is all pretty standard stuff. There's only maybe two, this featured images one and this get featured image, probably redundant, that I haven't seen before, but there's 30,000 plugins, so I haven't seen a bunch of them. But it's not in here. So there's nothing that says support. Um, so then what I did is I logged into the host, and then this one is happens to be GoDaddy. And you could do the same on any host. You could log in and go to the file manager. Um, so cPanel has this, SiteGround has this, a lot of companies have this. If they don't have it, they offer FTP access. Um, but this one does have it, so we're gonna go to it. So on GoDaddy, if I go to My Hosting and then Tools, I can see all the files. Then we wanna go to WP-Content, and then I went to Plugins, and if you look, again, all the same stuff, but at the very bottom, I don't see it on this one, hold on. I'm gonna refresh. <clears throat> Refresh should be at the bottom. Oh, wait a minute, I have to go back. Yeah, it is there. WP-support is between WordPress SEO, which is Yoast SEO, and WP 101 Video Tutorials, both excellent plugins. So if I come back here and scroll to the bottom, it should be between these two, but it's not. If I look through here and the must use, um, it shows a, basically a GoDaddy plugin, which has no name, and then the same thing here. But if I come back, it should be there, but it's not. So how you get rid of this kind of lady in your dashboard here um, is to ultimately just delete that plugin. The only way to delete it is via a file browser like this one on your hosting company, and if you don't have one, an FTP. Briefly on the FTP, you need FTP software, FileZilla is a free one for every platform, Windows, Macs, Linux, whatever you want. Um, and then you, again, go to WP Content, or you'll be in root, then WP Content, then Plugins, and then you find this WP Support. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. 
Um, so it says, are you sure you want to delete this? And I say yes. So now it's going to delete this folder, which ultimately deactivates and deletes the plugin from this site. So here's that lady again, and if I hit refresh, she should be gone and out of my life. And now that rainbow thing is gone as well. Additionally, the plugins, if you go to it, it'll show the plugin WP support.index has been deactivated due to an error. And the error is it doesn't exist, and it's because I deleted it. So now we're gonna head to users. Now just like plugins, there was no plugin there. And users, there's actually a fifth administrator, and I actually only caught it by accident. So I was updating this site with manage WP, and it shows all the users in the database, which this should show as well. So I took a picture of it so you don't have to see everything. But here's a screenshot of it. And if you look, there's that lady at the top, there's the next one right there. There's that migration, there's me, and there's this one called custom. And what do you know, it's email address is info at 24 by 7 wpsupportcom which is really don't email them, they're trash. Um, if you do need recommendations, let me know below. There's tons of people, depending on where you live, that can help you with this kind of support, including me. Anyway, so this right here, this is not here, so where is it? Great question. So I looked around a little bit more, and the only way to find this is to go to your database. So again, you log into your control panel, you log into your hosting uh, environment. Some have cPanel, some have some custom um, ones that are created, but you log in, you click PHP My Admin, which is what I've done, and I've skipped the logging in stuff so you don't see the username and password for the site. Anyway, so here is what it looks like. It'll of course look different than yours. Typically, something says WP underscore, doesn't have all this garbage, and then underscore CF forms. Um, so, so that's contact form seven. Um, this is iTheme security. So it's just different things within here. So on the right hand, left hand side, excuse me, um, the schema down here we don't need. We're looking at this database right here. Your database details, if you don't have the username and password, are in your wp-config.php file or in your hosting backend. So now a lot of you are saying you're going to go blind looking at this, but it is necessary to get rid of this. So we're going to click Users, and then typically it's on Browse. For whatever reason, GoDaddy puts me in Structure. So I'm going to click Browse, and then we're going to look, and it shows five users. So this lady named Jane, Migration, Myself, Custom, Jane again. But in here, there's only four users. Um, so again, this is the one we need to ax. Um, so, and it shows on 12-18, 2017, and this is 2019, um, this person got administrative access. So they can install a plugin, they could set anything up, they could get into the weeds and get it done. Um, really kind of scary stuff that they're in here. Um, this particular site doesn't have e-commerce or take credit cards but I've removed it plenty of times and I've seen it where, wait a minute, info at 24-7W support has access to people's personal data, people's payment plans, stuff like that. Um, anyway, so to get rid of this, you have this X. You can either highlight here and hit the X or you can do it here. So I'm gonna straight ax it. I would say before you start deleting stuff in here, um, do have a backup with Backup Buddy or Updraft. Updraft does a complete backup for you without having to pay. They have a premium version. This isn't really a commercial for them. I don't work for them. But it is a quick way for you to have backups before you start uh, ruining your database. So I deleted custom. And then I want to check the user meta. So it should be wp-user meta, but again, GoDaddy adds a bunch of stuff. I need to go to browse. And it was number... Five. So I'm going to go to next. I'm looking for user ID of five. It should be deleted. Or maybe not five. Let's see if it's still in here. So it should be gone. Let me check in here. If anything changed. Nope. And that should be gone. From there, I haven't found this plugin infiltrating anything else. 
Uh, but it is a big deal that um, it's buried in here and that it hides itself from the plugins. Um, so do keep that in mind. Um, the last thing I'll say is this is where the plugin came from. So custom dashboard widget and dashboard contact form. So that's what um, is last updated two years ago. There's a warning here that this hasn't been updated in forever, but they still make it available, which is insanity. 800 plus active installations. Um, I've seen this one entered other ways, but this puts a custom form on your dashboard. And this is the plugin that is basically hiding that support group. And there's tons of other ones besides this. So sadly it's on here um, and people say, oh yeah, I, I want this widget and they install it and it disappears. So, and then it adds that lady and then now you gotta pay to play and get help and get them off. Anyway, that's it. If this was helpful in any way, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. We have a great community. Again, a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button on YouTube along with the little bell. Lastly, that Facebook group, facebook.com slash group slash press avenue, where we talk about these tutorials, answer more questions. This guy had an urgent question. We answered him probably within 15 minutes. Um, and then live stuff, and then just stuff happening in WordPress. If you're a WordPress website owner, I really recommend getting into groups like this to get help and get the support you need from others doing the same thing. Again, thank you so much for watching. Thanks again for watching this video. My name is John and you can join me on our Facebook group by clicking ask a question below. You can visit our website and see all the tutorials. And on the right hand side, we have our most popular video along with our most recent upload. Thank you again so much for watching the Press Avenue YouTube channel.